Plastic literally is making us sicker, fatter, and poorer. My name is Leo Trasande. I'm a pediatrician and I protect people from chemical hazards. I direct the NYU Center for the Investigation of Environmental Hazards. I mostly do research looking at the effects of chemical exposures in pregnant women and children, but I broadly look at the impacts of chemical exposures on hormones in our bodies and the impacts on society. It's like 1% of us understand the effects of synthetic chemicals on hormones in our bodies, yet it's affecting 99% of us. And yet 99% of us don't know that there's a problem. As a scientist, I'm used to writing academic peer-reviewed papers and thinking that that's going to move the needle and change people's lives for the better. But that's necessary, yet not sufficient. The reality is that as a dad, I've seen constantly our, my own kids being exposed to chemicals in our daily lives. Quite literally, the science is telling us that plastic kills. Plastic contributes to chronic diseases like obesity and diabetes, reduces the function of the male sex hormone, and low T is either a predictor for or marker of adult cardiovascular disease, literally killing men. We found that 10,000 men die because levels of phthalates in their body are reducing their sex hormone function and having other consequences for their lives. So we urgently need creative thinking. And my interaction with Footprint has been very refreshing. They've come to meetings with an open mind, trying to understand what the scientific concerns, trying to creatively solve problems and provide a potential solution for the growing threat, not just for plastics and human health, but for plastics in our planet. I mean, the reality is that we have a huge ecological problem with macro and microplastics, killing fish and other wildlife that literally is rolling out of control right now. Endocrine refers to the signaling system across our body. There are a host of functions that it oversees. And when we think about that endocrine system, it's a signaling system of hormone molecules, natural molecules. What endocrine disrupting chemicals are, are synthetic chemicals, largely brought on through the advent of better living through chemistry that are literally hacking those hormonal functions. What we're talking about, when we're talking about the real effects about plastics on human health, we're talking about the synthetic chemicals that are even further down the chain. They're not macro, they're not micro, they're not nano. They're little molecules that at very low levels of exposure can literally scramble our molecular signals and thereby contribute to disease and disability. I just wanna say one word to you. Just. One word. Yes, sir. Are you listening? Yes, I am. Plastics. The reality here is that we were lulled into a mindset in the 1940s, after World War II, of better living through chemistry. Through the design of new synthetic chemicals, we could make our lives better, be able to adapt to a modern lifestyle free of consequences. It goes back to the graduate line plastics being the future. Unfortunately, that's just not the reality. Over the past two decades in particular, we've realized that the lowest levels of exposure are where the biggest effects occur. It's timing, it's other chemical exposures. We now live in a gamish, a large scale mixture of thousands of synthetic chemicals that we are exposed to over our lives. Much of the reason we are where we are is the regulatory agencies use tests to approve chemicals that are back from the 1960s. They're literally 50-year-old science guiding how we decide whether something is safe for food or not. And that's a big problem. Smoking is an interesting parallel because it speaks to how long it took for people to change, despite the fact that the science was there. Back in the 60s, there was enough science suggesting that smoking killed. Yet, it took years and years, and there was lots of manufactured doubt, lots of effects to minimize the science, to vilify researchers that were doing the right thing. We saw the same thing with lead. It took 100 years 